everyone, my name is Paula Jimmy Lava Tokwe. I'm here again. I promise to upload more videos on revealing the Holy Spirit. And today we are going to be talking about ministering unto the Lord. It's so awesome and amazing to fellowship with God by the Spirit. It's awesome to enjoy God's presence. It's so it's not stressful at all. It's not stressful. Praise the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we fellowship with you, as you explain to us how to minister to you, how to love you and how to desire you mom father in the name of jesus let our eyes be open oh god to the things of the spirit in jesus name holy spirit we always rely and depend on you reveal to us the deep things of god and reveal to us how god wants to be worshipped for in jesus mighty name i pray amen Today I'm going to be reading to us from the book of Acts chapter 13 verse 2. As the minister to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Spirit said, Now separate to me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then having fasted and prayed and laid hands on them, they sent them away. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that while they were ministering to God, the Holy Spirit said to them, so it is in the place of ministration that they got an important information for their ministry, for their lives and for their destiny. The Holy Spirit said to Paul and Barnabas, it said they should be separated unto him for the work that he has called them to do. When you minister, you render service. Praise the Lord. So there is ministering unto God and ministering unto me. Now we want to talk about ministering unto God. You cannot minister to God outside the Holy Spirit. You can only minister to God by the Spirit. It is the Spirit of God that helps you to minister. When you find yourself in a place where you're confused about some things you're supposed to do in your life or you need direction from God, you have the Holy Ghost. Just come to the place where you minister to God, where you love God and acknowledge God for the things that He has done in your life. Then in the place of fellowship, in the place of intimacy, the Holy Spirit begins to reveal to you the deep things of God. Now you begin to walk in line with the will of God for your life. Praise the Lord. You only minister to God by the Spirit. The Bible says that we should be still and know that God is God. It said, be still and know that I am God. Sometimes when you come into your secret place, all you want to do is just to be still and know that he is God. He is the all-knowing God, the all-sufficient God. When you begin to call him his names, you begin to call him names, sweet names. He says he's the all-sufficient God, he's the all-powerful God, the all-knowing God. Is the I am that I am, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You begin to meditate on God's word and you sense that there is the power of God is filled up in the room. And you're not controlled by your physical body. You're being taken up by the spirit. And you're not controlled by your emotions. Now your body is subject to the spirit. Praise the Lord. The Bible says that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. It says, he that is joined with the Lord is one spirit. When couples get, get married, they begin to look like each other as they spend time with each other. They begin to think alike. They begin to do the same things. As you spend time with God by the Spirit, as you spend time fellowshipping with God, by the Holy Spirit, you begin to think like God. You begin to know what is in the heart of the Father. Because the Bible says that the Holy Spirit will reveal what is for Jesus and reveal it to us. So it is by the Spirit you know the heart of God. It is by the Spirit you know what God is thinking. Praise the Lord. Now you are one with God. You are one with the Holy Spirit. When people see you, they see Jesus. And they're saying there's something about you, but they can't really figure it out. Because you are now a carrier of God's presence. Now God has rubbed off on you. It's in the place of fellowship. It's in the place of ministration. God was speaking in 2 Corinthians chapter 7. He said, if my people will humble themselves to pray and seek my face. Meaning it takes humility to pray. It takes humility to fellowship with God. It takes humility to acknowledge that God is your father. It takes humility for you to know that you depend on God and God alone. And this is what God wants. 
He wants you to express yourself to Him. He wants you to show Him that you love Him. Praise the Lord. You need to know that God loves you and He wants a relationship with you. And you can't have this relationship outside the Holy Spirit. And you begin to develop relationship with God by fellowshipping with Him. Ephesians 5 and 18. Do not be drunk with wine wherein it is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, meaning you should be drunk in the Holy Ghost. It gets to a place where you're intoxicated by the Spirit. When you cannot even see, you don't even know what is happening around you. You're not controlled by your physical body. Your spirit is in another realm. Now you're seeing with the eyes of the prophet. You're seeing things, you're declaring things into the atmosphere by the spirit. God seeks those who worship him, those who will worship him in spirit and in truth. Praise the Lord. You can enjoy God. Some people say they don't know how to pray. They don't know how to tarry in God's presence. They don't know how to fellowship. My dear sister and my dear brother, what you need to do is to come with the consciousness that you are a royal, you're royalty, you're a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation that God has chosen you. He loves you so much that Jesus died for you. He wants your fellowship. He wants your relationship. He wants your love. He wants you to pray. Just come and love him. Just call him beautiful names. Just call him awesome names. Where you don't even have prayer points. But what you want to do is just to love God. It's just to embrace him. Do not be drunk with wine wherein it is excess, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. Whereby you sing in psalms. You sing hymns and make melodies in your heart. You sing spiritual songs. Oh, glory to God. There is an anointing in those places. I sense the power of God all over me right now. I've not even started praying. I'm just ministering to God. You can minister unto God and enjoy His presence. You can fellowship with God by the Spirit of God. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. That is why you will not do anything with your body. You will not just do anything with your body. Because your body is precious. Your body is a living sacrifice to God. This is where the Holy Spirit stays. I'm a carrier of God's presence. I'm a carrier of His anointing. I'm a carrier of the Holy Spirit. I do not rely on my physical strength. When I want to do something, I recognize the ability of God that is on my inside. My sufficiency is of God. My ability is of God. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Through Christ, I can do all things. Glory to God. These are the things you say when you have stayed in the place of, of fellowship. Another way you can minister to God. The Bible says that be still and know that I am God. When you come to your secret place and you're just still and you're just knowing that he is God, you can't even pray anymore. You can't even utter words, but you're just lost in those spirits. You're drunk in his presence and you're just recognizing the fact that he is God and your spirit is alive, but your flesh is dead. Glory to God. There is something about ministering unto God. You are not just anybody. You generate power from the place of ministration. You have boldness. When you say you cannot stand before two or three people, my sister, minister to God. When you say you're scared of your lecturers, my brethren, minister to God. Then you begin to roar like a lion. But you're as gentle as a dove. This is the character of God. 
when the spirits and the fruits of the spirits begins to function in your life you begin to function in the fruits of the spirit they are not struggles for you anymore you have self-control because it is the fruit of the spirit you yield yourself to God you yield your spirit to God praise the Lord it is in the place of fellowship that deep things are revealed to you the Holy Spirit you have the Holy Spirit you need to stir up the Spirit of God on your inside. You need to stir up the gift of God on your inside. When you minister to God, there is this fresh way you feel. There is this fresh anointing you feel. And you're just thinking something is pushing you to do things. It's the Holy Ghost that is pushing you. Some people say, something just told me to sit down. <laughs> Nothing told you to sit down. The Holy Spirit told you to sit down. Praise the Lord. When you speak words and you declare words and they come to pass. Because now you're one spirit with God. You're one with Christ. You're one with the anointed one and his anointing. Now you carry his power. You carry his glory. You carry his presence. Praise the Lord. You're precious to God. You're important to God. I'd like to close with this scripture. The Bible says in the look of in the book of Luke, chapter 18, verse 14. Jesus speaking, he said, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself himself will be humbled and he who humbles himself will be exalted it was talking about a jewish man he was saying he fasts two weeks two times in a week the jews are so used to fasting and praying that there is no connection they don't have this fellowship with god some people say they fast but you are starving yourself understand the principle of fasting Understand that there's a reason you fast. You fast because you're hungry for something better than food. You're hungry for something deeper than food. And you want to press deeper in the things of God. You fellowship with God. And you're full of God's Spirit. Make confessions every day that you're full of God's Spirit. And the best way to fellowship with God when you think you can't do it is to rely on the holy spirit just say holy spirit i rely on your strength to pray this night and just begin to minister to god the holy spirit is going to overtake you the bible says in the book of romans 8 it said we do not know what to pray for but it is the holy spirit that helps our infirmity he helps us to pray with groanings that cannot be uttered when you pray in those spirits, you say you speak mysteries. You speak the things that your natural mind cannot comprehend. And you're just speaking the heart of the Father concerning your life. The moment you begin to speak in tongues, you can never fail in life. Because you are setting your, your life in order. The moment you begin to pray by the Spirit, you allow the Holy Spirit to help you. You can never miss it in life. Praise the Lord. I feel the power of God over me right now. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to practice it after listening to this video. I want you to practice ministering unto God. God is waiting. He wants to see his children minister to him. And I'll tell you, your life will never remain the same. You will enjoy prayer. You will enjoy fellowshipping with God. And you will even enjoy more of the Holy Spirit. Thank you so very much for listening to today's message on ministering unto God. I also promise again to upload more videos about the Holy Spirit, about the love of God, about Jesus Christ, about the amazing love of Jesus. 
that you may know the love of Christ and then you'll come into the fullness of God. It is amazing to know the love of Christ. Thank you so very much. God bless you.